A lot of kids think that it's about picking the biggest school in the country, and it's not necessarily because you got to pick the right fit for yourself. We all kind of had to, to weave out, you know, some schools that I didn't like just because of, you know, players that are already there or, you know, the offense they run. I uh, decommitted um, in uh, early August last year, and um, I'm just looking to go to the school that fits me best and is going to let me play my game. Just, just somewhere I can get along with the players, you know, there's no egos there. Coaches like me, I like the coaches. Um, the fans are great and uh, just a good campus to go to and um, somewhere definitely I'll get my education at. I just felt like Florida State was that, that fit. I had a great relationship with Coach Jones and um, most important, Coach Hamilton. Uh, it was the right school for me um, and moving on in the future. You know, I was able to, to narrow it down pretty quickly and, you know, Syracuse just kind of stood out to me as a school that I didn't want to lose. You know, I pretty much have the opportunity to go in there and make mistakes as a freshman and, you know, play through it. But, you know, that along with, you know, the history of winning that they have, a Hall of Fame coach and it being, you know, one of the closest schools to home, you know, possible. That's something that, you know, it was great for me. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett Whoa! of Toronto, Canada, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I mean, it's history, man. Hopefully, we can repeat it, you know, next year with Andrew Wiggins coming in. But, you know, it's just a, a great honor, you know. Um, I'm speechless right now. I can't even know. I don't even know what to say, basically. <laughs> You know, I played with Anthony and, you know, those guys, play, I played with them, so it, it's kind of weird to see them, you know, in the NBA draft already, and, you know, it's just kind of, you know, it went kind of quick for me. They're showing that Canada players, you know, that's where I'm from, that's what we play for, and um, they're playing in the NBA, which is where a lot of us want to be at, so they're definitely, we definitely look up to them and look for guidance when we're with them or around them. They've done a lot. They've paved the way for us to be able to follow in their footsteps, and They've paved the way for us, and we're just trying to ultimately get to where they're at right now. I just feel like, you know, there's a, a great era of, of Canadian basketball players, you know, just want to get better, um, you know, push each other all the time. You know, with Andrew doing his one year next year and me and X going into college and, you know, just trying to produce, I think, you know, Canada is going to be, you know, on top for a longer than, than it's been. Just from us putting in hard work, coaches pushing us, um, just trying to, go out there and showcase our abilities and showing that Canada has great basketball players and we're just putting on for the country. It's a blessing to be able to um, put a country on your back the way that um, some of the guys like us have done um, in the past few years and to be able to have so many kids looking up to us being a face of Canada is, is pretty cool. We're just, like I said, we're learning from it. Uh, we're taking it day by day and um, just getting better.